An ocean family, uh, Ocean Way family upset. They say a pack of dogs viciously attacked their cattle and the livestock then had to be euthanized. These same dogs have a history of attacks, according to city records. A report shows Jacksonville's Animal Care and Protective Services seized the five dogs and cited the owner. The family contacted the Newport Jack's I team to look into why the dogs weren't taken off the streets sooner and why the owner was able to take some of them home. I team reporter Vic Michelucci joins us live from the city animal shelter in Brooklyn. Vic. And Mary, these family members say they are heartbroken because they lost their three cows, which they considered pets. They are disgusted because it was a gruesome scene, a lot of blood and gore. And they are frustrated because they believe that these dogs have been terrorizing this community for many, many months now, and they think that something should have been done. I want to warn you, some of the details here might be disturbing. George Baker shows us where it happened in his Ocean Way backyard off Elizabeth Lane. Both the gates just swung open. He says a pack of five dogs attacked his three cows on Tuesday morning. Initially, it was for the beef. Then we never knew that cows could be so sweet. We never knew they'd become pets and grandkids would love them. They even had names, Gertrude, Betsy, and Meatloaf. We've blurred some parts out, but pictures show the dogs bit the ears off, causing the cows to bleed profusely. He had to put all three down. The vet let us know that there was no, no help in them. Baker's not the only one with concerns. On the Ocean Way neighborhood Facebook page, there are numerous complaints about the dogs. They've uh, been killing cats and chickens and just all sorts of just terrorizing our neighborhood. Stephanie Greer's husband caught this picture of one of the dogs with a cat in its mouth. <laughs> she fears the next victim won't be an animal. We're just worried about the kids. There's a bunch of bus stops. A police officer tracked the dogs back to this home. It's about a mile and a half away from where the cow attacks took place. A Jacksonville Animal Control supervisor seized the dogs at the Benton Drive address, writing in a report, there is extensive history on the address and the owner concerning the dogs running at large and attacking cats and roosters. She took them to the city's animal shelter and wrote the owner, Jessica Woodle, nine citations. But later, Baker learned three of those dogs were reclaimed by Woodle. The city is holding the other two for evaluation until Sunday. I don't understand that. I'm confused about that. He's worried they'll strike again. I mean, who knows, you know, if they attack during the day, I've got my kids out here, grandkids. And those remaining two dogs remain here at ACPS in Brooklyn as animal workers evaluate them to see if they are dangerous, if they are able to be released according to the standards and guidelines that they go by here in the city of Jacksonville. Meanwhile, that homeowner says that he has secured his fence and he keeps a close eye on his yard. He has some hogs back there. He has some chickens. And recently he bought two new cows to replace the three that he lost. We're live tonight. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4 the local station.